What's up guys, Coda Bear TV back again with another video. So today guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, it's not gonna be a long video, just quick and to the point. Uh, so we have my baby Duramax, the 2021 Chevy Silverado 3.0 diesel. And I got a, I think it's a 10 by 16 dump trailer. Um, the dump trailer weighs about 4,000 to about 4,200 pounds. Um, I gotta go get a couple trips of stone today for my dad and I might get one for myself. Um, so basically today, the video is I'm gonna show you how the truck is performing a little bit here and there, but not much, but more of what my MPG is. So I'm gonna go and fill up um, on the way over to the quarry. I'm gonna get a couple loads. And then on the way back through, I'm going to uh, fill up again and we're going to see how many miles I have and divide it. And we'll see what the actual fuel mileage is. Um, so it's half the time I'll be empty with about 4,000 pounds. The other half the time I'm going to be fully loaded between nine and 10,000 pounds. So it's going to be the max tow. And I just want to show you guys how it is. Maybe I'll throw in too. You can actually hear because I have an SMB uh intake that i put on you can actually hear the turbo pretty good with this trailer towing the weight behind it uh, it actually sounds like a diesel for one so stay tuned for that guys uh but otherwise let's just jump right into it so we just got to the gas station we're going to be filling up at uh, on the way back through home also and uh, as you can see diesel's 379 let's go brandon uh, all right we got her filled up it's full we're gonna go ahead and reset the trip now we're at zero and we're gonna go and <clears throat> do a couple trips, see how many miles we put on and we'll come fill back up and then divide it. And we'll see how much miles per gallon. I'll be happy if we can see about 13 to 14 because we are gonna be hauling max tow anywhere between, I would say 9,000 to 10,000 pounds in that range, uh, pretty much every trip. Um, I am gonna be loaded about half the time though because on the way back to get another trip, I'll be empty, it's about 4,200 pounds that I'll be towing. But either way, I'd be happy with like 13, 14, maybe 15, uh, but let's let's see. All right, so I got my first load and um, it's about three ton, perfect. He's like, just stop me when you had enough and luckily I hit it dead perfect. So I got three ton, which is 6,000 pounds. And then the trailer weighs about 4,000 to 4,200. So we're max tow. I mean, we're at 10,000 pounds right now. Um, I'm trying every time to get it between nine and 10,000 pounds. So uh, as you can see the ticket, my gross is 16, 2020. My tear was 10,260. So my net is about 3,000 or uh, it's three ton, 6,000 pounds. 2.98 tons so uh not bad we're gonna get out real quick we're gonna tarp this real quick and get going i gotta make at least probably one two more trips at least so All right, so I just got to my parents' house, dumped a load of stone, and so far we're at 13.1 on the trip uh, for miles per gallon with a fully loaded. So we'll see what it is when we get back. Um, I'm happy if I get about 13 to 14, but this is usually off by about one mile per gallon. So we'll go ahead and get another load and we'll see. All right, we're rolling back into the yard right now to get more. Um, we're averaging about 14.2 miles per gallon now, so we're doing pretty good. And another note, just so people are asking about my transmission temper la temperature last time. So basically, um, on the way out loaded, I was running anywhere between about 190 to about 194 degrees, which is a little bit higher than operating temp. Normal operating temp is like in the mid 170s to like very low 180s. Um, and then on the way back, unloaded, but hauling the 4,000 pound trailer, um, I was anywhere between 185 to 189 degrees on my transmission temp. So not bad at all. Um, 
but otherwise let's get loaded again and run another trip and we'll see what kind of fuel mileage we got we might gotta run probably gonna run two or three more trips i think So this time we got about 2.8 ton, 5,660 pounds plus 4,000 for the trailer. Um, so a little bit less by about a couple hundred pounds, like 200 pounds, but nothing bad. So real quick for you guys, if you watched my other video, you saw that I installed an SMB intake on this truck. So um, I did a little sound comparison, but it wasn't very good. So now I am going to show you... I'll put maybe I'll put a clip in from when I came out here the first time without the SMB intake uh, and we're gonna go up this hill and you're gonna be able to hear it way more than the other one so maybe I'll do a little comparison in the video just for you for you guys to see also so when we start coming up this hill you can hear it suck air pretty good So it actually sounds like it's got a turbo in it. Listen to it. It's a lot better sound than uh, stock, I can tell you that. It actually sounds like a diesel, you know, turbo diesel, so. But otherwise, guys, um, I'll get back to you probably when we get back to my parents. And then after that, I don't think I'm gonna check in anymore. I think I'm just gonna give you guys the final number um, we're just going to give you guys the final number for miles per gallon after I get um, fuel and see exactly how many miles I put on. I'm probably going to do more miles than I originally thought I was going to. He looks like he's going to need a trip or two extra. Um, so we'll do that. We'll break it down and then we'll see exactly what uh, I got. Max load, you know, 10,000 pounds, 9,500 pounds with um this dump trailer so but so far we're going i mean giving her some beans like i said you don't like you really don't feel this like i got twelve thousand pounds behind me and you really like, i'm actually shocked it, it's really good um like we're going up a slight hill right now it's in tow mode and it's just it's just climbing you know it's not it doesn't have like the snot to really gain a bunch of speed going up the hill but you know it is it pulls it you know it's a different type of power like if i was in you know my chevy 5.3 or something if i was even coming close all right so we got back to my parents i'm still at 13.7 so still doing pretty good even fully loaded only lost a couple tenths a mile per gallon so it's not bad It went off. That should be far enough. So I couldn't make it all the way back to the other gas station. This gas station is a mile from my dad's house. I just got unloaded. I went 133 miles, got 13.8 miles per gallon. 
Um, and that is, of course, what the truck says, but usually I get about a mile to two miles per gallon better. So we're gonna calculate it right now. I drove 133 miles, we're gonna fill up, see how many gallons we put in um, and go from there. But if I was gonna do this more than what I'm doing right now, I definitely would have to get airbags and a you know, weight distribution hitch or something back there because <clears throat> I had too much tongue weight for the first two loads. So then I had them put it back more. And then that load, I had way too much weight on my the tires in the rear, causing the truck, to, the, the trailer just to shimmy and go back and forth. So definitely to help. I mean, the tongue weight probably would be fine if I had more suspension and if I had airbags or... Like maybe if I just put more airbags in and then a uh, weight distribution hitch, it probably would have been better. And I would have just kept loading it that way. But, all right, let's just jump out. We're gonna fill up real quick and we're gonna see what it is. And that's probably gonna be the end of the video. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, go down and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with people looking to get this three liter Duramax. This truck's only rated for 9,500, but the new ones, 2022s are gonna be rated for over about 13,000 pounds. So definitely it would be able to carry a lot. So as you can see guys, it's just shy of nine gallons. Uh, you might not be able to pick it up. Uh, maybe I'll get a receipt, but it's 8.9 gallons is what it was. So we're gonna get in the truck in a second and we're gonna see, um, we're gonna do it in the calculator, see what we got. All right guys, so as you can see, like I said, 133 was how many miles we did, averaging 13.8 according to that. So I did my fuel receipt. See right there, 8.957 gallons I put in. So we're gonna do that math real quick. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do 133 divided by 8.957. And that brings us out to 14.84. So just shy of 15 miles per gallon. So I'm really impressed. This truck handles it really well. If you're looking to haul, you know, anywhere between like, you know, five to 10,000 pounds, Especially like, I mean, if it was a bigger trailer, like a car trailer, it would have got probably two miles per gallon worse, like 13, because of the wind drag and everything. There's not a lot of wind drag with this. But <clears throat> as you can see, like the truck holds its own and like the power that it has, the low end torque, it, it hauls really good. Like it just feels really good with the 10 speed transmission it's got. Uh, the transmission temp stayed pretty low all day. They did not go up a lot, you know, maybe 10, 15 degrees higher than normal with no trailer. So. You really cannot complain. Like I said, guys, if you can, please go down and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't for more content. And just share this with people that you know that likes trucks and wants to see the average in and everything. This is real world mileage. This is going down, you know, somewhat of a main road, you know, for 15 miles, going down a back road for three, four miles, and then going on I-88, you know, on a, on a highway for a couple miles. So. You know, it's diverse driving. It's not like I just did the highway the whole time. So it really helps, you know, seeing real world fuel mileage. Like this is what you can expect towing this kind of weight in a dump trailer, you know, stone or whatever. So like I said, thank you guys so much for all the support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.